Hey guys, it's Munchies and More, and in this video, we're here at Peco Park Stadium, the home of the San Diego baseball team, Padres. In this video, we watch a home game of the Padres playing against the Minnesota Twins. We check out some of the local food that's available at Petco Park, as well as some of the beer, and really just the whole vibe and the energy of the park. We really enjoy ourselves, so stick around for our adventure at Petco Park. In Petco Park, they have 10 plus stands for serving different kinds of beer, each stand representing a company like Hodads. Petco Park also have their own personalized beer themselves. The prices aren't cheap though. They can range from $14 up to 20 and more. They also have lemonade stands. They're nice and fresh and they're pretty large cups and they're under 10 bucks. As soon as we got to the park, we got a good whiff of all the great food that was being cooked up by all the different vendors. We made our way to the outer rim of the park to check out some of the views, then to our seats to know where we were taking our food to. And then we went off to scope out some of the eats that we were looking to enjoy while we were at the game. We gave ourselves a good hour and a half before the game started to arrive at the park, find our seats and get our food. And we would highly recommend you guys do the same, not only here at Petco Park, but really at any stadium event. It definitely seemed like the way to go to get situated and be able to enjoy the event in a comfortable way for us. Gaglion Brothers Seaside Market and the Grand Old Barbecue are the three restaurants that we have tried. We got three separate dishes. The first one is from Grand Old Barbecue. I got the smoked brisket sandwich from Grand Old Barbecue for around $20. You get a nice plate of fries and a brisket sandwich on a nice soft bread roll. The brisket was really well cooked, nice and smoky. They have three or four different sauces to choose from at the Grand Ole Barbecue. And I went ahead and went with the spicy and the sweet sauces. And it was really funny walking around the game with this sandwich. A lot of people kept looking at me and then looking down at the sandwich and asking me, where'd you get that from? And it was a very tasty sandwich. So if you're ever at Petco Park, I would highly recommend the smoked brisket sandwich at the Grand Ole Barbecue. The nachos that I got was called the Cardiff Tri-Chip is a San Diego favorite. The Tri-Chip nachos are served with cheese sauce, a large portion of chop up Tri-Tip drizzle barbecue sauce, sour cream and sprinkle green onion. I'm not a big fan of onions, so I asked them if they can take it off. But besides that, the taste was so good. So for their garlic fries, if you're a big garlic fan, these fries are perfect for you. But if you're not, I suggest trying other fries of flavor that they have. The garlic fries were too witch for me. And I'm a big garlic fan, but I just couldn't finish this up. So I had to have Tyler help me finish it. But even with his help, we just we couldn't because it was that rich. But you can also have different flavors there's cheese steak fries regular fries i think they also have a mexican style fries but they do have different flavors
We were also lucky enough to catch a game where the Padres beat the Minnesota Twins 10 to one. We got to watch a few home runs. It was something like five or six home runs and a lot of a lot of good scores as well. Some bases were stolen and overall it was just a great experience with the energy of the crowd. I went ahead and grabbed two local craft beer IPAs while we were at the game. And while they are a bit on the pricey side, I think it's worth it for the experience to enjoy a nice refreshing beer at a baseball game, especially at a nice stadium like Petco. We finish off the night with Take Me Out to the Ball Game song. And I just love the crowd, just everybody singing. I just really love it. If you guys like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you guys for all of your support.